Hey guys, Tiny Bryson here, and if I'm being honest here, when I first started saving money, there wasn't anything I wouldn't try. I tried buying a piggy bank without any exits, that way I couldn't basically steal my own money. I tried saving up 10% of my money every time I got paid, and if I'm being honest guys, it did work. Okay, I can't say it didn't work. However though, every time I found myself with all this money, I would spend it because I deserve it. You know, I saved a lot of money for a few days. So guess what? I'm gonna buy me some sneakers or I'm gonna go on vacation or go on a few days and basically spend the money on food or whatever it was. It always happened. It was like I saved, then I spend. It's like going to the gym and whenever you're done working out, you buy yourself a cookie or Chipotle or whatever it is because hey, you deserve it. Um, No, you just erase all of your gains. I was doing the exact same things. However though, this challenge is a little bit more different and I actually like this challenge. I actually love it and I think it actually works very well. So this video right here, I'm gonna tell you how it works why it works, and most importantly, what do you do once you're done with the 100 envelope challenge? You're basically left with almost a little bit over $5,000. You know, it's not 10,000, but it's 5,000, half of this, okay? And by the way, the average person never even has a $1,000 in their bank account. So this right here is going to be awesome. Now, if you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notified on top of also destroying the like button and welcome to the long-term team. Now, the very first question I wanna answer is, Tommy, what is the 100 envelope challenge and how exactly does it work, okay? And the answer is, it's fairly simple. All you need is to buy a hundred envelopes and all you want to do is basically label each envelopes and number is ranging from one to 100 so you got a hundred envelopes you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one hundred and the idea is that every time you get paid or you have money in consecutive days you want to basically buy or put money into those envelopes so today is day one i'm going to put money into the one dollar envelope tomorrow i'll put dollar money into the two dollar envelope then three dollar envelope then four dollar envelope and then so on and so on and so on and by the end of those one hundred days you're gonna have a little bit over five thousand dollars and by the way this is great it's awesome i like it don't get me wrong however it does take around three months and nine days and you might say tommy that's a long time i think so too but remember the average person never has that much money and most likely if you don't have that much money right now you didn't have that much money last year guess what three months is better than never having the money okay so that's my opinion on that right there however I do have a confession, guys. If you guys don't know this, this reminds me a lot of something we do in my culture. Now, I'm actually Dominican, meaning I'm Hispanic. And my mom, my uncle, and some of my friends, actually, they did this thing all the time. And in my culture, we call it jugando un san. And it basically means playing is san. And the whole idea is, if you guys remember, in kindergarten, when they gave you, for example, if you remember that, like I doubt it, okay? But I'll show it right here on the screen. It's called a number sheet. And if you guys remember, the number sheet goes from one to 100 or one to 200 or one to 1000. And the whole idea is that in my culture, you get this number sheet from one to 100 usually. And every time, you basically cross off a number, you give that same amount of money to the person holding all the funds. And by the end of those 100 days, that person then gives you, for example, all the money at once, usually $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. It all depends on how you wanna play the game, okay? And by the way, it's not a game, you don't lose your money, um, it's not like you're gambling, no. It's just basically, depends on the amount that you actually want. And you do it basically with other people. So basically, sometimes you might get the money first, you keep paying towards it, and by the end, you're done, or by the end, you get all the money at once. That's how it works. Remember, one to 100 gives you over 5,000. One to 200 gives you over 20,000. So obviously, in 200 days to get $20,000, it's a lot of work, okay? Because remember, it is consecutively. It is day by day. You got to deposit that $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, whatever it is, okay? And eventually, it'll be like, hey, today I got to find $100, 
tomorrow hundred and one dollars the next day a hundred you know what i mean so it gets very expensive so you want to keep that in mind but overall i do have a warning for people out there okay and the warning is that basically this is great it takes 100 days or 20 days, however you want to do it. But the answer is, I know for a fact, if you're anything like me, which most likely you are, and I'm impatient, don't get me wrong, you probably want to rush this. Hey, Tommy, I got paid $100, bro. I'm not stupid. I'm going to grab this $100 right now and just basically buy the first 100 days or whatever. I'm going to put a dollar here, $2 here, $3 here, $4 here. Basically buy like the first 10 days or 20 days in advance. The answer is, I personally get what you're saying, but it's a terrible idea and let me tell you why. Because the idea is that you wanna do this consecutively and you will not always have all that money at once. So my advice would be, hey, if you're having like a very good day and you made a good amount of money, buy the more expensive days. So if I made $100 today, I'm gonna buy, for example, the $45 envelope or the $30 envelope. Why? Because when I'm having a good day, I'll buy those. But when I'm having a bad day, I can basically just buy, for example, the smaller envelopes, like the $10 one, the $5 one, or for example, the $1 one. Those are my emergency envelopes, so that way I can make sure I don't stop the process. Because remember, once you get to day 50, you have to keep depositing $50, 51, 52, 53, each day after. That's a lot of money, yo. So I would rather do that in the beginning to get it out the way while things are going great for me. And when things get tough, I buy the smaller envelopes, okay? That's what I would do personally. So I don't recommend you rush things. Keep this in mind. Now, this is a challenge, honestly. So 100 days to save up a little bit over $5,000. Is it possible? The answer is obviously it is. However, if you're wondering, Tommy, why does this work? What makes this so basically it won't be like every other time I tried to save money and ended up basically spending it? Well, in reality, it works because of two main reasons. The first reason is because basically I read this book. It's called Atomic Habit by James Clear. And it's basically a professional on habits and habit building, all that good stuff. And he says basically, hey, whenever you want to start something, make a habit, you want to start small. And then you want to basically level up in increments, okay? So step one, step two, step three. But a lot of us wanna go straight to step 100. No, start start small, start small. And this is why it works, because in reality, you start at day one, you know, $10, $20, $30, you continue day by day, day by day, day by day. Now, it's a common rule in scientific the scientific world or whatever, that on average, it takes around 21 days to 66 days for your brain to build new neurological pathways in order to actually create new habits. So if you're doing this for 100 days, what happens is by the time you're done in those 100 days, you build a solid concrete habit. And that is why this actually works so well. So I highly, highly recommend this challenge. However, though, it's not perfect because here's the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, okay? Because Tommy, I did it. It's been 100 days. And by the way, if you made it to this point in the video, like the video, of course, but also comment down below. Let me know you made it and let me know, are you going to do this challenge or are you not going to do it? Comment down below. Let me know. I'll be in the comments down below answering questions. Now, here's the truth, guys, okay? When you're done with this challenge, what do you do with the money? I actually saw a video on TikTok where a guy or a girl, don't know, was basically like, hey... I saved up $2,000 in, I don't know, like three years and now can finally afford to go on vacation to Hawaii. That stuff makes me very sad because it's kind of like I saved up money, I'm going to spend it, come back from Hawaii with $0 and now I'm starting back all the way at zero. I still hate my job. I still hate my life. Okay, that's not what I want for you. So here will be my little twist on this challenge on what to do with the money. The first twist is this for the first part. If you are in debt, credit card debt, car loan debt, student loan debt, accept the mortgage, my advice would be, hey, do this challenge, but don't save the money. Meaning, hey, 
print out the number sheet or get the envelopes. And whenever you actually per day, you basically make those payments towards your debt. In 100 days, you would have paid up, for example, an extra $5,000 towards your debt. It's a very aggressive way to basically battle your debts. Now, why do I say this? Because in reality, if you have credit card debt or student loan debt and you're trying to save money, it doesn't make sense because in reality, the bank is charging you a bunch of money in fees, usually around 18% to 25% to 35% sometimes. In reality, you're not going to be able to win at that game. That's why I recommend use this challenge to motivate you to pay off that debt. So personally, whenever I have the money day by day, I'm gonna put an extra $50 towards my loans, then $60, then $20. On off days, I'll use, for example, $1, $2, $3, but I'm always making those payments for 100 days consecutively. And by the end, I would have paid an extra $5,000 to lower my balance. Now, if you want to, you could also do the one to 200 challenge. But again, that's an extra 20,000, and it's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of work. So. I advise you, get side hustles, get other ways of income, okay? Whether it's working for Amazon or Uber Eats, it's a great way to make extra money to pay off those debts in a very short amount of time, by the way. Now, the second thing is, once you're done with the debt, I advise you that basically on that one to 100 day new challenge, once you're done, save that money towards your emergency fund. So that way, if anything happens to you, you're going to be covered. I recommend you save at least one to three months worth. No, 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 I'm sorry about that. I recommend you save at least three to six months worth for your emergency fund and put that money in a separate account so you basically don't use it. That is my second twist. My third twist is, get, what, by the way, by the time you're done with this, it's been 200 days and basically you are in this habit and you basically know what you're doing by this point. So do the same thing, right? But instead of saving the money, paying off debt, use that money to basically invest into index funds, into your retirement account. If you don't know anything about investing, I have videos on this channel. Subscribe, look at my channel, or I'll link a video down below. It's called um, How to Invest for Beginners, okay? It's a great video, over a million views, you'll like it, okay? So watch that video. But I would start, hey, one, 200 envelopes, I'm gonna start investing that money. In three months, I've invested $5,000. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Now, on top of that, use the same challenge while you're doing that to also, for example, save up for a down payment on a home. You know, and once you have a home, if you have a home, well, in reality, keep using the challenge. You basically pay extra towards your mortgage and be done a lot faster. That is my twist on this challenge. It makes no sense to save money, honestly, if you don't know what you're going to do with it, if you don't really have a purpose for the money. And that's why a lot of the times we end up spending all the money. That is my advice. And that is my twist on the challenge. Okay. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Again, twist, pay off your debts save for emergencies, start investing while you're saving up for a down payment on a new home. And then once you're done with all those things, you have a paid off home, you're able just to enjoy yourself and buy the things you wanna buy and just live a very, very fulfilling life. Now, I'm not saying don't do anything while you're doing this. Yeah, still have fun, but do it on a budget, be responsible and make this little like challenge your priority. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. I actually had a lot of fun with this video, so I actually like it a lot. If you wanna to talk to me about it, well, I have a link down below. You can actually call me for free or just send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I only have one Instagram. Here it is. Don't get scammed by the fake accounts out there. On top of that, here's that video on how to invest for beginners. And on top of that, here's my face and my other channel. So click right here, subscribe to all of my other channels. See you guys tomorrow. As always, long-term team for the win. Peace.